Hi, my name is Lad Cloy, and I'm the founder of Martial Mind Power and the Master Your Life program. I'm a physical mental cultivation coach and a third generation instructor in Bruce Lee's Kung Fu called Jeet Kune Do. In this video, I'm going to explain what Martial Mind Power is and the Master Your Life program. We're going to start looking at the meaning of Chinese characters to truly understand the meaning of Martial Mind Power. And I'd like to go back to the ancient art of Chinese writing. Chinese characters do not spell a word like they do in English, but rather communicate an idea, a concept, or a philosophy, if you may. And it's these very ideas and concepts and philosophies that have kept the Chinese community intact over generations. Dialects, on the other hand, are simply a means to how the words are pronounced. The language of ideas, concepts, and those philosophies still remain constant in Chinese. So the meaning of Xi or Si is something we should look at first. And this Chinese character is pronounced Xi in Mandarin or Si in Cantonese. Mandarin and Cantonese being the two most popular dialects of Chinese. Mandarin being the official language of China. Since Chinese characters depict the ideas, concepts and those philosophies, Si has multiple meanings such as a master, a teacher, a tutor, a mentor, a coach. And when you model someone of excellence, such as a martial artist, a musician, an actor, a doctor, a lawyer, or whoever it might be, a specialist for that matter. And here are some examples of some C names commonly used in Kung Fu. Therefore, C means someone who looks out for you, someone who cares for you, someone who is helping you to grow and helping you to prosper. And in the martial arts, it means someone who would give up their life in your defense. So what does Kung Fu mean? Well, let's have a look at the second part of the character meaning Fu. And Fu means father or elder, but also it could mean teacher or to teach. So what does Si Fu mean? Now you understand what the constituent parts of the word Si and Fu mean, and if you put them together, your teacher and Kung Fu father Sifu signifies a special relationship between a teacher and his student to whom he gives special skills, teachings, dedicating his time, effort and energy and resources to develop that student's Kung Fu. This saves the student time and accelerates them to become an expert, not just in martial arts, but in life. For example, in China, the head chef of a restaurant is called a Sifu. A doctor in a GP practice is called a Sifu. They have a special skill which has taken years to develop hone and perfect, which they can pass on to you so you too can become an expert in that skill and take it further. These individuals are known as Sifus. So what does Kung Fu mean? <clears throat> well, there is a myth that Kung Fu just refers to Chinese martial arts and certain style systems and so on. Well, that's incorrect. The meaning of Kung Fu or Gung Fu is to develop expertise or excellence in skills, abilities through hard work and repetitive practice over time. That means you can have Kung Fu in anything so long as you are excellent in it. For example, Bruce Lee had the Kung Fu martial artistry and given the most exciting performances on the big screen introducing martial arts to the Western world. With his blockbuster in movie Into the Dragon in 1973 which earned over 25 million dollars in the US alone and estimated over, over 200 million dollars worldwide. Albert Einstein had the Kung Fu of physics having discovered the theory of relativity amongst a plethora of other scientific discoveries and he also won the Nobel Prize in 1921 for the photoelectric effect and his research in theoretic physics. And Usain Bolt, you would say, has got the Kung Fu of the 100 meter sprinting having recently won gold in the 2012 Olympics. You get the idea, that's right. So what's the idea of Kung Fu? Kung Fu is then a prolific ideology for life, not just for martial arts, which means it's to model excellence in your life, to self-actualize so you can be the absolute best you can be, to develop Kung Fu in other people, and to live a Kung Fu life, or a life of excellence. So how do you develop Kung Fu? Well, to live a life of excellence, a life of Kung Fu, you must always work on developing and maintaining your self-control, your focus, your respect, your self-discipline, your self-confidence, and most importantly of all, your self-actualization. <clears throat> As I say, there's a time and place for everything. So decide wisely, won't you? The moment you decide 
is the first step on the path to leading a Kung Fu life. However, excellence cannot be achieved without choosing the right attitude or the mindset to keep you focused towards your end's desires. Any Tom, Dick and Harry can learn a skill and ability and become technically good at something. That is not excellence. That is just becoming a technician. Someone who can emanate the true essence and skill or ability into other areas of life with a purpose is known as a practitioner. That, my friend, is excellence or Kung Fu. So how can you start developing your Kung Fu? Well, as Bruce Lee quoted, knowing is not enough, one must apply. Willing is not enough, one must do. And to be excellent, to develop your Kung Fu, you must live and experience excellence by practicing until you get perfect. Whatever it is you choose to develop your Kung Fu in. In Kung Fu, we have a 1,000, 10,000 rule. This rule states that it takes 1,000 repetitions of doing something to be with a good form and function to be able to be proficiently good at it, to execute the technique effectively. It takes another 10,000 repetitions to truly understand that technique so that you can perform it subconsciously without knowing you're doing it. That would be considered to be a black belt level or a, or a technician level. To transcend the understanding of that technique into every corner of your life takes the application above and beyond technical performance. That is to become a practitioner. That would be 10th degree level or a practitioner level. I'm a practitioner of the Kung Fu life. So what made me decide? Well, I'm a true white collar warrior. In the daytime, I used to work for investment banks on both Wall Street and in the city since 1997 as a senior consultant. And by night, I practice and teach Bruce Lee's martial art and philosophy of Jeet Kune Do. I am a third generation instructor or Sifu in JKD. I found the corporate world and the rat race to be egotistical, I excessively conceited or absorbed in oneself, self-centered, even selfish. I find it to be dehumanizing, depriving people of positive human qualities. I find it to be apathetic, showing or feeling no interest, enthusiasm, emotion or concern for others. I find it spiritually dead and meaningless, i.e. unfulfilling and purposeless. While in the city, I made a good living, don't get me wrong, but I did not make a good life. And I'm a firm believer that People are more important than the system. And that's when I decided to no longer be part of the rat race. So, what's my motive? Inspired by Bruce Lee and the Kung Fu Way, I decided to master my life and give something back to the world by helping to educate, inspire and empower you so that you could master your life and live it to its absolute truest potential and achieve excellence in what I call the 10 Ps. And the 10 Ps of peace, possibility, Precision, perception, poise, pleasure, prosperity, purpose, passion, and most of all, practice. This will allow you to align yourself towards your personal liberation, self-actualization, so you can achieve whatever goals you've got in life. So you can do what you love and love what you do. And ever since, my life and many others has completely changed for the better and seeing people achieve their success goals, which is the biggest compliment of my work. I teach you how to create and live a Kung Fu life through experiences, workshops and classes, and various types of courses. And that's what I call martial mind power. And I'm here today to share my learnings. So how do the martial mind power courses help you to master your life? Well, the martial mind power matrix consists of eight courses which help you to master your life in all 10 Ps. And those courses all use teachings of martial art and philosophy, i.e. Kung Fu, neuro-linguistic programming, life coaching skills and expertise to move your body, to move your mind, to move to a place of success. So there are 10 courses. The first one is Peace, which is a master your inner peace. That course is called Stillness. It's a one-day course which helps you to empty your mind, create a state of peace and harmony, for emotional management, attain a state of clarity and certainty, so you can enjoy the present and achieve inner harmony and happiness. Course number two is about possibility. It's about mastering your mind and emptying your teacup. It's a one day course, and that helps you to open your mind, remove obstacles that prevent you from achieving success, so you can enjoy new experiences and learn and grow, so you can let success into your life. Number three is about precision, it's mastering your confidence. That course is called Think and Become. It's a half day course and it creates a sense of calmness so you 
get a sense of clarity so you can see clearly have certainty and purpose in life with a sense of confidence so you can think big and be big we also have a second course in the precision which is which is master your beliefs and that course is called boards don't hit back and it's a half day course that helps you to create self-belief number four is perceive Master your awareness, and that course is called Possess and Eagle Eyes, a one-day course that helps you open your eyes so you can see new opportunities, create a state of alertness and awareness so you can get on top of your head, top of your game, and stay ahead of the curve so you can control and direct your life and so you can swoop in and take new opportunities so you can soar to success. Number five is Poise, and that's about mastering your communication and influencing skills. That course is called Honestly Express Yourself. It's a two-day course that helps you to Communicate effectively, create rapport with people, act as if with poise and confidence so you can win friends and influence people, so you can achieve your success goals. Number six is about pleasure and it's about mastering your flow. And that course is called Be Like Water. It's a two-day course so you can help you to find your flow, be adaptable and flexible to cope with any situation, create calm and clarity, create a state of inner happiness, so you can achieve whatever ends you desire, so you can let success flow into your life and just flow Ooh, success. Point seven, eight, and nine, prosperity, purpose, and passion is about mastering your dreams. And that course is called Power Side Forwards. It's a one-day course that helps you create a vision and goal setting so you can identify opportunities, so you can find your passion, so you can love what you do and do what you love. So you can create a burning desire and put your strengths forwards, find your definite major purpose, and so you can power forward to your own success. And the tenth P is practice. And that's about mastering your actions to success. And that course is called Stay Ahead. It's a one-day course that helps you to find your rhythm, develop strategies to get and stay ahead, direct your own life and success. So you can move to success. And there you have it, a, com a comprehensive program to master your life so you can live a Kung Fu life. In traditional Kung Fu fashion, it's time for you to decide to become excellent now. And most importantly of all, is to act right now. With that, my friends, peace, respect, and love.